So today we are replacing the lens in the Wise Cam version 3. Here is the original Wise camera, and this is what it looks like with our new lens installed. Before we get started, set up your camera on the app and make sure you can connect to it and view the live picture. You're definitely going to want to complete the entire setup process before you start taking apart your camera. After completing setup, ensure you remove the SD card from the camera if present. Damage will occur if you neglect to do this. Finally, make sure your camera is unplugged from power. Here are a few things you'll need to do this mod. First is the new lens itself, available via the link in the description below. Optionally, because the new lens will protrude from the housing, we're using a few small O-rings to help with ensuring the seal remains around the lens. This is particularly important if you're going to use the camera outdoors. Finally, having a kit like this, which includes these tools, will make a very big difference in completing this job. We love having this kit around for all types of work. Our affiliate link for this kit is in the description below. The first thing you'll want to do is remove the front facing trim. It's attached with adhesive. Use a thin shim or blade around the edge before prying away the trim from the camera. Next, remove the three plugs over the screw holes. The easiest way to get them out is to either, if you can catch the edge, you can pull it out like so. Or if it's too far in like that one, you may have to push it farther in. So when you press it in, you can see it kind of rotated inside there. And what you can do is take a piece of wire or uh, in this case, it's a um, paper clip. So long as there's a little bend at the end there, you just want to stick it in beside it. Once you get past, you just rotate. Uh, behind um, those uh, fillers, there's a couple screws. Now they are quite far in, so you will probably need a little bit longer of a screwdriver to get them. Other. Next up, we want to separate the housing a little bit more here. Um, so we'll want to go inside. You just want to be careful of the gasket that's on the other side of this. You'll see that little bit of red. You sort of want to go on the outside of it, but if you can't get around, you might just have to press it. In any case, um, one side will have a couple clips. I believe it's actually on the left side. Um, so if you get past and start prying, you'll cutting kind of pop, and now it's out. So, once you pull it out, you have to be careful. There are two connectors that you have to pop off. One being the speaker wire on the bottom, and the other being the actual power on the back. There we go. All right. Now, there's the camera module. Now, in order to take apart the camera module, there's another two screws. They'll be the ones on the far ends. So one there and one there. Once those are out, the easiest way to get it apart is to just press on the lens slightly. And you can see it just kind of falls out. Now, there's another two wires holding these two sections together. Um, that is one on the bottom going to the LED. Just a small GSD connector. And then the other one, there's the final one. And the other one is the ribbon connector. Now, of course, you don't want to bend these too much, but these connectors here just flip upwards. I can get a grip on it. There, and then it just pops out. So next up we have to deal with the glue on the sides of the camera lens, which you can see both here 
into here. Now, some uh, one way to deal with it if you're not worried about destroying the lens is to just take a wrench to it and twist. Um, in this case, if I want to save this lens for later, you can just slightly cut into it with a utility knife and you usually scrape off enough that you can twist it afterwards. In this case, I'm not even really moving the utility knife, I'm just kind of rocking it back and forth while pressing in. And once I've kind of worked my way through, I just twist it up. So that has removed a good chunk of it. However, there's probably still some more. At this point, you can try to... Got it. All right. Once you've taken off enough glue, you can start to unthread it. And you can see just how much glue is actually left inside the threading once you remove it. Because we are replacing the lens, we will grab our replacements. You want to make sure that it threads in straight. And it's not. It's not? No. All right, so here's where we say what went wrong with the first time we did this. The lens in the description has been used. You can read the reviews on Amazon. Everyone is using this specific lens. Uh, for these wise cam replacements. So I'm not sure why we're having such trouble with these, but um, we're basically making sure it's in super straight and using some pliers. And while pushing down on the lens with a lot of pressure, we're forcing the threads into position. Uh, we were able to achieve a pretty darn good focus with this method, uh, but of course it's this is the one uh, part of it that's a little bit cringy, makes you uh, take pause, but uh, it does go in and it does work. And we'll show you some footage of that coming up here. So the next step is to focus the camera. To do this, you partially reassemble the camera. Really, just connect the camera module itself back into power, and then bring the partially assembled unit back to where it'll be used, and plug it in. Connect to it with your phone and observe the picture. It will almost certainly be blurry. You'll need to take the pliers which were previously used to insert the lens and twist the lens one way or the other until you find a good focus point. Having someone stand in place of your focus will help a lot. Once you're satisfied with your camera's focus and you can see your subject clearly, return to your workstation to complete reassembly. So in our case, um, because the lens is longer than the original, um, the housing gasket that would normally go around the lens um, no longer fits. So we put on some O rings. In our case, just two, just to make sure that we get a good seal. And those will just sit on the edge of the lens so that when we insert it, there's a little bit of a seal there. Now, to reassemble, obviously, you'll want to line up the lens with the front gasket there. But before you do that, put in the ribbon cable first. For these, you just want to flatten it out a little bit. Thread it into the holes. There we go. And once it's seated, just press the retainer back into place. And then for the other one, just a simple JST connector into the socket there. And done. All right. And then just wiggle it in until it lines up. Press it in. And in our case, I'm just going to run these tweezers in to make sure that the gasket or the uh, O-rings haven't moved any. So just pressing that O-ring in just in case. Proceed with screwing the two screws you removed back into the PCB. Alright, you should end up like that. Next up, you want the housing again. Um, 
because you just want to make sure that you grab both your wires and plug in accordingly. Um, that's upside down. There. And then the speaker is on the back side, I believe. Oh. So let's put that in there. Okay. Now, make sure that your SD card is on the right spot. So in the case, uh, SD card obviously is on the bottom, so just match up the reader with it. And press in until you hear the click. You can start inserting your other screws. steps. Next up are the little grommets. Significantly easier to put it back in. Most of the time you can just press them up against the face and then just lightly tap them down. And usually if one side's going in but the other side isn't, I usually just kind of tap around the side until it goes in flat. Grommets are in, and last but not least, the fascia plate. So long as the adhesive from the beginning is still intact, you should be able to just press it back in. And there you have it. Great. I mean, I guess, insert your SD card if you so choose. You probably should. It's always good to have an SD card, SD card in these things. And there you go. That's pretty much all there is to it, and we'll show you a comparison before and after video of the footage these take at the end of the video here, but uh, hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching.